Okay, here we are. Ah, there we are. <laughs> we are gonna play a little more Banjo Tui. And, uh, we have this here special, special controller. It's, like, the buttons feel hollow. It's. I, does Kazooie sound different now? Is, is that a thing? Um. Okay. All right. Where are we going? Sorry. <laughs> Got someone messaging me, trying to answer some questions. What a week, what a week, what a week. All right, we going to get that last jiggy. Yeah. Make that happen. I actually don't know how well this controller works with the feature I'm thinking of using. Oh god. Did I just... This controller is pretty horrible. And it it it's like somebody sawed off the nubs, but this didn't actually help in any way because the tight part of the handle is still tight. Oh god, I'm back here now. <laughs> oh man. Oh. oh. Get in that hole. I know you want to. We're going to the wastelands. We crack it open this energy drink. Get the red one. So, the analog on an N64 controller is typically actually handled by an optical encoder, similar to like, you know, those arcade golf games, the trackballs, old computer mice. Those all these optical sensors. They have one wheel facing this way and one this way. Little gates cut in it. And every time a, a gate goes by, it notices a movement. And the more teeth you have, the better the resolution on the controller. Um, so there's a lot of... Oh, Nut Available's here. How's it going? Oh, and Dark Lord. How you guys doing this evening? Uh, we'll be doing Minecraft later playing some Nintendo 64 and I just realized all the lighting in here is like super dark. I'll fix that in a second. Anyway, so there's these gates uh, on these wheels in the, you know, there's there's two wheels. One, one, this, one this way and one this way, right? And so basically the little gates in it tell it that it's passed and move past the optical sensor. The more gates you have, the better the resolution. Oh, that's not the button I wanted. I wanted this. Yeah. So, hardest challenge in the game. Let's see if this works. Uh-oh. Oh, she's running away still. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I paid $17 to do this. <laughs> Why did I buy this controller? I regret it. Oh, wow. This is actually working really well. So there's part one. Cheater controller mode unlocked. I may need this for another game. That that's I, I figured that that might happen at some point, so cheesy little mini games like this won't defeat me. You beat me again! Yup, the usual prize will suffice. 
Don't be greedy, Kazooie. We won all her possessions in the mine. Oh, no, you didn't. Look what I found up here. Oh, it is a Jiggy. Wait, I thought it was supposed to be a cheater page. I also found another papery thing. Pop up. Oh! The Jiggy's the first one. The cheater page is the... Okay. Looks like you've got all the Jiggies. There's a treat in store for you on the Cinema Selection screen. Cinema Selection screen. We'll have to go check that out. I'm going to adjust the light. Oh. Yep. Let's see if this works. Because this is the last Cheeto page. Um. Yeah. Kinda, I kind of offer it up as a challenge uh, to anyone. I want to see you beat this by hitting the button without cheating. You know? Because this is, this is... This is a turbo controller. It's hitting the button every X... You know, every 10 milliseconds, let's say. It's really hammering on it. And it looked like I wasn't going to win that first race at first. Really weird, right? But now it's just like... Mmm. Tastes like witty. <laughs> oh, man. Bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 Alright, so something about a cinema. Where's my thing? Now hand over that papery thing. My last possession? Oh yeah. Well that's it then. I reckon I'll be out for my dinner. What are you having? A nice worm sandwich and tasty bag of millet. Millet? Mmm, sounds good. How about a third race to let us try and win your dinner? <laughs> well, no. You'd probably win. And then I'd go hungry. See you around, fellow bird and bear, buddy. Fellow bird and bear. Wait, do you half bird, half bear? Does it? <laughs> Alright, there it is. We got the last Cheeto page. Alright, so I'm going to change controllers because this one's actually pretty awful to use. It's also very cheap. The little dust cover they put on here is, uh... Yeah, it's so funny that this, this controller uses somewhat different technology. Anyways, so we saved and quit. We're going to change controllers out. You always want to turn off your N64. To change controllers. <sighs> also, apparently they got the mold on the uh, controller plug wrong. I don't know. There we go. Tuck that away for another day. I have a strange feeling we'll make use of that again. I gotta, I gotta find this, uh... Said something about, uh... Settings, maybe? Cinema? Wide screen mode, screen alignment... Replay, press A to replay games and features. Oh! Hold on. Opening s character for okay. All right. We'll we'll play that later. We're gonna we're gonna go back to the game at this point. Wait, what is this? Multiplayer. Right, right. I, I unlocked the the Jinjo for multiplayer. That's what it was. And then, um, 
Oh, we gotta go see Cheeto. We gotta get our last cheat. Which, is it the last cheat? Apparently there's more. So that's interesting. trying to run into me. Um, Cheeto is... Oh yeah, he's up in Grunty's lair. Gonna go to Grunty's lair. See? Wait. Yeah, I never really realized how tedious it is to unlock the cheats. You have to go all the way back here for Cheeto, and then go all the way into another level to actually enter the cheat in. Because getting the pages isn't enough. But I think that's it for items in the game. I think that's 100% for items. And we just need to, like, beat the game. Come on. Ghoul. Nom nom nom. Nom nom. Gruntilda's lay. Yeah, the old Gruntilda's lay. Great, you got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret cheat. Fill the beans. Hand over my precious pages first. Yeah, I mean, I can't read the pages without them in the book. <clears throat> Jukebox. He says there's more. Oh, it is all the cheats. We just like loading. Okay. That's... So that's all the cheats. The last one is a jukebox. Jukebox hero stars it is as... Right. Um, I... I I think it makes the jukebox work in the, um... <sighs> in the bar. On the seaside. That's what I'm trying to say. I think that's it for items, then. I mean, if, if, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Wooded Hollow. And we gotta go to Cauldron Keep. That's our final level. Um, yeah. So we're gonna unlock the jukebox. We'll check out the jukebox real quick. We'll watch those, uh, watch the character parade. That's like a bonus. Four hundred forty-two followers right now. The, uh, the five hundred follower challenge still stands. That's fifty-eight more people, and I will eat that double extra hot flaming Cheeto thing as fast as possible. No water. Like maybe water, so I don't choke. <laughs> Ain't about not being spicy. It's about drying your mouth out with the food. <laughs> That's, I think that's one of the, uh, the worst ways of doing it, right? Okay, so we need to put in Jukebox. Jukebox cheat will activate the jukebox at Jolly's. So again, it calls these cheats, but they're very much not cheats. They're just features. You know, like, oh, you earned the ability to use the jukebox. What's that cheating? 
I'm like, oh, your egg capacity's doubled. Why is that cheating? I don't... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, that doesn't sound like cheating to me, so... Now... We got bird and we got dragon and bear. We got one of Spyro's friends in the backpack now. It's it's so funny that they just changed the pitch of the uh, sound effects a little bit. I'm not gonna look at the guide beyond where it is, and I think I already know it's in the uh, it's in the quagmire. There's like a wall climb. Um, I do want to kind of look to see. Well, let's go. Let's let's go check out the jukebox. Why not? Go see what the jukebox is like. Are you ready? I know I am. <sighs> I want to make sure I'm not missing anything as well. <clears throat> Let's see here. Jukebox is over here. Jollies, that's what it's called. Pick a world to play, select B to ca- oh. That's it? Miscellaneous. But yeah, it's just a, uh... Wait. Oh, I was gonna say, if it keeps playing that, that's gonna be weird. I don't think we'd want that. But yep, so that's the jukebox. Alright, we gotta, we gotta do our little, uh... Little item check here, real quick. I'm gonna walk out of this area first. Um, few totals. Ilo hags. Unless there are Cheeto pages, which I don't think there were. I can check. Page 110. Uh, excuse me. Oh no, well we got all the Cheeto pages, he already said that. So then there's the Jinjos give you all the, uh... We got all the Jinjos from the overworld, we got all the notes, we got all the Jiggies from the Jinjos. We got the super giant globo. We got all the information we needed from our buddy. We got everything in Mayhem. Ma Mayahem. <clears throat> Mayahem. Easy to pronounce. Glitter Gulch Mine. Everything. Witchy World. Got all the things. Jolly Rogers Lagoon. There's everything there. Terry Dacty Land. Yup. Grunty Industries, Hundo Pacento, Alefire Peaks, once again, everything. Cloud Cuckoo Land, looking good. And that's it. Wow, that's not it. There's one more. One more area. If I don't jump off the cliff by mistake. Oh, my God. 
So I guess we'll call that the final cleanup, and we'll cut it there, if I remember. That was a really short video, but, you know, we'll make that work. I do need to get some, uh, some bitches uploaded. What's this? Wait a minute. Oh yeah, there's there's the, uh, the walking boots. We gotta run up that. Wait, can I just... No, no I can't. Alright, so there's a pair of boots around here somewhere. Suction cuppy boys. I bet they're on the... No, it's a chinchu. Where are we going? Where do we get the boots? Hmm. Where does one find? Oh, they're there. Turn the camera. Got a dragon running across the map. Okay. Caljan keep secret exit. Okay. Secret exit? Wait, what's this? Wait a minute. Oh, so there's a shortcut now. That'll let us use that. Secret exit. <laughs> 